Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making a fun, interesting looking card. It's real simple, but we're going to be using this Something Fancy stamp set along with the Something Fancy dies, as well as the Basics 3D embossing folder. And this is an online exclusive. It comes with three different embossing folders. So we're going to be using one of those. But of course, before we start our project, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So I'll start with the All the Best Paper Pumpkin Kit that makes nine cards and comes with an acetate box to store those cards and a Pebble Path stamping spot. You have until December 10th to subscribe to get this particular Paper Pumpkin Kit, and there is a link in the description box below for you to do so. Next up, we have our mystery boxes. These are the boxes that I have filled with plus or minus $200 in new, used, and retired Stamp It Up product. Um, I'm only asking $25 for each box. It is a medium flat rate box. And I'm telling you, these boxes are stuffed with goodies. Um, if you're interested in getting one of these boxes, just email me at stampwithshauna at gmail.com. Let me know how many you need and we can discuss payment arrangements, okay? Lastly, we have our December host code. This is the code I would like for you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you'll qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stampin' Up! And we don't want you to miss out on any of your free perks, okay? Let's go ahead and get started on this project. Let me tell you, I have some basic white that is three and a half by four and three quarters. I have another one that is five and a quarter by four. We have a card base of Pebble Path. This is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And let's get our bone folder to burnish this score line down because it looks like it's opening up. Next, we have um, some strips I have cut and Boho Blue, Wild Wheat, and Moody Mauve. Okay, these strips, I think, are for the inside of the card. And they are a quarter inch by, and we're going to cut them down to three and a half. So let's put that with the inside of the card. These three strips are five and a quarter by a half inch, okay? Or we're going to have to cut them down to five and a quarter, because I'm not sure... If they are all, yeah, they're not all five and a quarter. So we're going to um, cut those down to five and a quarter. And I also have um, some Moody Mob that is for stamping and die cutting. Then we have um, Wild Wheat and Boho Blue that I have already stamped and die cut, okay? Because it's the same process, the same exact thing I'm doing on this. So we're going to start by stamping on here what we're going to be doing is heat embossing so we're going to get out some tools to heat emboss let me get my embossing buddy here we're just gonna run this over our moody mob to get any of our oils and static off of that we have our stamp image we're going to be stamping happy birthday with versamark ink where, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, we're just going to try to dab this without getting any of the sides. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to take some white embossing powder. Pour it all over the image we just stamped. Try to get this back in here. Just like that. Clean up our mess, move it to the side, and now we are going to heat emboss. Okay, here's our heat tool. Thank you. 
I like to emboss from the back because I feel like it, I don't know, for some reason, I think it does better. Okay, so now we're going to do some die cutting and um, embossing with the folder, with the um, 3D Basics folder. So we're going to emboss the five and a quarter by four piece of cardstock. We're going to emboss that. And we're going to die cut this using this label die from the um, die set. So let's try to get this on here straight. I'm gonna go ahead and use some washi tape to secure this down. Okay, so let's get our stamp and cut and emboss machine here. I'm gonna do the, oop. I'm gonna go ahead and die cut first, since that is the quickest, even though if you have the mini, you can, um, oops, got an extra plate on there. You can use the mini to die cut this, but since I need this, the big one to um, emboss with the folder, I'm just using this to die cut as well instead of pulling out both. Okay, so we have that done. We'll pop that out in a minute. Now we need to change our sandwich because we're doing um, 3D embossing. We just need this platform number one and um, platform number four, which is this gray one, okay? So we're gonna put our folder in seam first. And run it through. Okay, so here's what we have from our folder. And let's pull our die cut out of here. We'll set this to the side. So now we can start putting our card together. So on the inside here, we are going to glue these strips onto the um, inside of the card. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what we're gonna do, do I wanna do it this way? Or No, I think I wanna Put it at the bottom that's what i'm thinking that's why i'm sitting here <laughs> trying to decide how i want to do it so um yeah this is how i'm going to do it but what i want to do is squish them together and put them on the side here so i can get a, um an idea of how far up to go with my glue So we are going to doo -doo -doo -doo, put some glue here. Hopefully that's not too much. Then we're gonna take the first piece, the Moody Mauve and then the Boho Blue. And then the Wild Wheat. Ooh, I went up. A little too far with that glue. That's okay. I can rectify that. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a second. And then we're going to do the same thing on this one. We are going to glue our um, strips of <laughs> cardstock down. I don't know why I can't find my words right now. So I think I want the moody, I think I want it like this. Okay, so let's glue down the, what color is this? Wild wheat. <laughs> oh my gosh. And do I want it on the bumpy side or on this side? For some reason I'm liking this side. Yeah, I think I want to put it on this side. So I'm gonna put this right down the middle. I think <laughs> I need to get it straight, don't I? Okay. I just decided to use this side, so hopefully that was not a bad um, decision. Oh, this one is a little longer. Let's see. I don't know how much longer. So we're gonna put this one. right next to the 
the boho blue right next to the wild wheat. And then, and then, and then, and then, we're going to put this one on the opposite side of the wild wheat, the moody mauve. We'll go on the opposite side. Try to make sure everything is even. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's take our scissors and trim off the extra here. And trim off the extra here. Any at the bottom poking out? Just the tiniest bit. I thought I seen that. Okay. So now we're going to take our card base and put in our inside into our card. Let's see. I think I like this for the front. This is a very simple card. Okay, I am getting blue everywhere. Oh, that's what I wanted to do because I got the glue on here. I wanted to use the embossing buddy to de-stickify <laughs> anywhere there might be extra glue hanging out. Okay, so then we're going to take this piece and we are going to glue this down to the front of our card base. And because we're using the bumpier side down, I want to make sure I get plenty of glue. I probably should have used some tear and tape to make sure this sticks down. So we're just going to put this on our card base right in the center and press firmly to hold down. Hopefully nothing comes oozing out. Okay. So I told you I had um and cut and die cut and embossed three of the others, and here they are. So what I want to do. Oh, this is not okay. I want to put some stamping dimensionals on the back of these. Dimensionals. I'm gonna use minis, I think. Let's see, will the big ones fit on here? Oh, they just fit. So let's use the regular size ones. They just fit. Oh, no, no, no. You guys, I'm controlling my, my urge to put more dimensionals. I'm just going to put two on each one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think. I'm trying to not put it on the one in the middle because I don't think it needs it so how are we going to do this so let's see I think we're going to put this one at the bottom here and maybe like this this is what we're going to be doing. No, I think I want one in the middle. See, I can't. I can't. Oh, my gosh. What's up with me in these dimensionals? <laughs> I tried, you guys. I really was trying, but it just... I don't want it to sink. Okay. So, let's go ahead and remove the backing from the dimensionals, I guess, and have one stick to your hand your finger oh flip one over let it stick to the desk surface oh it popped right back over um, i'm just doing great here today <laughs> oh gosh come on okay so let's get this popped on here i think i want it to be about about right here like this and what did I say? I'll do the blue next. About right there. Then we have this one, the Moody Mauve. We're going to put that one about right 
there. And then, and then, and then we're going to add some bling. I have the 2023 to 2025 in color dots. And this was two packs, but I ran out of the boho blue, so I needed to open another one. So let's see. Where do I want to put these? Oh, yeah, I think I should have used some tearing tape. This is not staying down. Um, Let's see. We have some Moody Mauve. So let's put one here. Let's put a boho blue right about there. We have a wild wheat right about here. And I think I want some more. <laughs> so let's also put a wild wheat right in that little... um. What is that? The circle. Lordy. Put the boho blue one over here. We'll get one of these. I think I'll put it right here. Can we fit some more? I think we can. So I want to put... Oh, I used the wrong size. That was supposed to be a big one. Let's see. We'll put another. Ooh. We'll put one close to there. Then we'll put the wild wheat right here. Then what do I need? The moody moth. Let's put that one. Hmm. We'll put a moody moth over there that is nine so we have our odd number and this is our card done what do you guys think i seen um seen this on pinterest i can't remember it wasn't a stamp it up card but i can't remember what it was <laughs> but anyway this is our card for today i hope you like it that's it that's all don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. Bye.